Deep in the heart of America's most populous Republican state, a series of new laws may change the lives of millions of Texans. We have state governments who are taking away the rights and freedoms of LGBTQ people in ways that can put them in harm's way. Four bills were enacted on Friday that critics argue strip away the rights of some residents, including a ban on DEI programs, putting more restrictions on drag performances, forcing college athletes to compete on teams using the gender assigned at birth, and after the Texas Supreme Court dismissed a lower court's ruling, there's now a near total ban on gender affirming care. This is not about the kids. It's about the bigotry. Every major medical association in the United States has endorsed gender affirming care for adults and for youth. While civil rights groups argue the measures to be cruel, the state's moves aren't surprising. In 2022, Republican lawmakers in Texas adopted a fully anti-gay platform. My name is Ted Cruz, and my pronouns are kiss my Texas is following a trail blazed by other right-leaning states. Florida is where woke goes to die. Florida's Republican governor, who's chasing the presidency, has come under fire for signing a slate of discriminatory legislation. 520 of these kinds of bills have been introduced around the U.S. so far in 2023. LGBTQ plus people deserve human dignity and respect. The fears are so great, Canada is now warning travelers to exercise caution. LGBTQ plus people have always been a part of our communities. We have to learn to have our voices heard in new ways. Republican lawmakers appear to be making these efforts a 2024 strategy. And while they may have the courts on their side, it's unclear if voters will buy in. Reggie Chikini, Global News, Washington.